Good afternoon, everybody. It is 3.29 here in Florida, and peace, joy, love, and blessings to everyone in our Lord Jesus. Okay, you guys, what I want to do is I want to do the third part of this little teaching series. And the reason why I was doing this teaching series, just in case uh, you didn't look at the first two uh, videos, and one of them was on how we are made in God's image. And that means that we are relational beings. We were made to love God and to love one another. And then the other video was talking about transformation, how we are transformed um, on the outer man, uh, producing love by faith. Uh, this video here is also about um, Galatians 5, 6, talking about that uh, love is the evidence of faith. And the reason why I'm doing these particular videos is because it is being said by David um, because I believe he has some heart issues uh, where love is concerned and uh, that's um, that's something that's uh, very detrimental to the growth of the body of Christ meaning that if you are teaching certain things that are cutting out the fruits that are cutting out love that we just simply cannot love God uh, it's not our love our love is poop and we only love God with God's love um, that is the way he says it is that it's shed abroad in our hearts and that's the love that we love God with is God's love um, now it is a type of love God's love the agape type of love but it is our love that we produce by faith it's an evidence of our faith um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this out uh, so before I start with the actual teaching I'm going to just read out a little something because what else is being said here is that well the fruits of the Spirit is a singular and that it is Jesus and yes I agree with that without Jesus we would have absolutely no type of selfless love which is uh, the a type of agape love which is a love that is an act of the will uh, but we have to understand that there are fruits there are uh, things that we produce such as love peace joy kindness meekness long-suffering patience all these things we produce upon understanding who we are in Christ Jesus and that we have been set free once you realize that you have been set free from an accursed gospel and that you're not gonna die and that you're gonna go to heaven and that God himself huh, the creator of life everything that is in life all things were made by him for him and through him when you realize that god himself loves you with an everlasting love and that he's never ever ever in the greek going to leave or forsake you then you're going to produce some kind of joy you're going to produce some kind of happiness some kind of love some kind of meekness some kind of kindness some kind of gentleness some kind of patience because you you know who you belong to you know who your father is and you know where you're going when you die and so you are thankful you have a thankful heart so I'm gonna read this out here uh, this says the fruit of the spirit is a singular plurality or we might say a collective singular these descriptions are apparent contradictions like jumbo shrimp but they exist the fruit of the spirit is love love is from the agape type of love which is an act of the will and it's also known as a selfless kind of love so we'll go to first john 4 19 to 21 we we love him because he first loved us if a man say i love god and hateth his brother he is a liar for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen how can he love God whom he hath not seen and this commandment have we from him 
that he who loveth God love his brother also. This will be a short study on the meaning of the faith which worketh by love, and that's in Galatians 5, 6. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. God has allotted to each of us a measure of faith. However, we have to choose whether or not to exercise it. But does he also give us love for him? Until we are reborn, we are actually at enmity with God as represented by the carnal mind. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Romans 8, 7. That is how we start out, with the default condition due to what we inherit from our parents. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Psalms 51, 5. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they are born speaking lies. Psalms 58, 3. And then, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. And that's in Job 14, 4. Think about it. A newborn is 100% selfish. And selfishness is the opposite of love. We are either self-seeking or other-seeking. The Bible tells us how we come to love God. We love Him because He first loved us. Love develops as a response, a reaction to being loved. A child only learns to love even its own mother who is tenderly nurturing it over time as a response to the love and care it receives. We are certainly designed with the capacity to love, but it must be exercised through our decisions. So, since we start out with at least a small measure of faith and at enmity to God, it would seem that faith must come before love. Here again is the verse in question that's in Galatians 5, 6. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. When we look at some original words, we will find that the word translated in the King James Version as worketh is from the original word energeo, and that's in Strong's G1754, which is obviously similar to English words like energy and energize. That word is most often translated as work, but it takes energy or motive force to do work. In physics, work and energy are closely related. The common understanding of faith which worketh by love understands both that faith which is allotted to us and the love to be ours. But what if the love is actually referring to God's love for us? The verse would then be saying that our faith which we have as a believer, even if it is a small measure, works or is given energy or is energized or motivated by our understanding of and reaction to God's love for us. When we choose to exercise our measure of faith, small as it might be, we change our attitude towards God. We begin to trust Him, even if only at a little bit at a time. As we learn of Him and learn what He has done for us, our hearts are warmed and we begin to love him. Love the one with whom we are formerly at enmity with. We learn that we that he loved us even while we were yet sinners. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 8. We come to understand the magnitude of the gift that was given to earn our trust. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. For whosoever shall believe within him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3:16 and Amen and Amen. As we come to appreciate this more, we are inevitably drawn to him. We are also told in John 12:32 that 
and this is Jesus speaking and I if I be lifted up from the earth will draw all men unto me again we love him because he first loved us so what motivates us to love him is our growing appreciation of his love for us we love him because he first loved us that I believe is the biblical and correct meaning of the faith which worketh by love in Galatians 5 6 the reasonable service is for us to try to grasp the magnitude of that love and that it is directed not just to the world but to us personally here is a paraphrase and amplification of Galatians 5 6 for when we are in relationship with Jesus Christ the state of circumcision or uncircumcision counts for nothing towards our salvation but what is important is our faith trust in him which is energized motivated by our understanding and our and and appreciation of his love for us it is the love of God for us that states as that starts it all the Bible tells us that it's God's love for us that produces our love for him so I'm gonna read that over I, I kind of botched it up a little bit for when we are in relationship with Jesus Christ the state of circumcision or uncircumcision uncircumcision counts for nothing towards our salvation but what is important is our faith trust in him which is energized motivated by our understanding and appreciation of his love for us it is the love of God for us that starts it all the Bible tells us that it's God's love for us that produces our love for him I pray this has been a blessing to you I pray you guys have a wonderful day in our Lord today and that is my message amen and amen